thanks so much for watching. So today's video is all about organization. I'm going to share with you guys several tips and hacks we've been using around our own house that have solved a lot of like small and annoying problems and have just really made a lot of things so much more functional. And a lot of these are completely free and won't cost you anything. And then a few of them are just a couple dollars. So I think you guys are really going to like this. If you do, please give me a thumbs up and also please subscribe to my channel if you're new. I'd love to have you. I will link similar videos down below for you guys like spring cleaning, I have a 10 minute routine, a deep cleaning routine. I also have kitchen organization and small closet organization. So definitely check those out if you guys haven't seen them. And let's get started. And the first tip I have for you guys is about storing t-shirts. This is something I've been doing with my husband's t-shirts for about six to eight weeks and it has made a world of difference. Whenever I stack them in his drawers, it ends up so messy within like three days and it's the most annoying thing ever after spending the time to like stack everything really neat. So the only thing I do differently is I first start out folding it exactly like a regular t-shirt and then I fold it in half again and then again and I always fold it so that the center part right here is sticking out. That way if there is text, a logo, some sort of a design or print, you know knows exactly what it is so he doesn't have to pull it out and unfold it. They stay neat and it only takes a second. It is a total win-win. I definitely recommend you guys try this. I wanted to show you guys another folding method we use, which is just the rolling method, and I use this for bath towels. I can fit way more towels on this shelf, and it goes like all the way back instead of just like having empty spaces in the front. It also takes up way less space on the bathroom counter when we bring them in there, so this is another really good idea. For the next few tips, I'm going to focus on the kitchen, specifically the cabinets right under the sink. And I have referred to this as a black hole because it is, it's just so dark down there. I find myself completely avoiding any tasks I have to do that involve finding products down there just because it's so, so dark. And I found a few ways to bring those products out and into the light that has made it just so much easier and faster when I'm trying to find things I use on a daily basis. And the first is a paper towel holder for the trash bags. So this just screws into the door and it's also on a swivel. And this was only $4. I probably can find it even cheaper for you guys on Amazon. So I definitely will link that down below. And whenever I need one, I just pull it off there. I just like stick the whole roll on there and it's just so much easier. They don't ever end up in a mess. I just take it as needed and I'm good to go. And for any of you guys that live in an apartment or for those of you that just don't want to put screws in your cabinet doors, you can buy these hooks and a little bit of ribbon. So they are just a command hook and they just stick on the door and then white ribbon, like I said, and all you have to do is tie a loop and a loop and then just hook it on the hooks and you can have a trash bag holder that way instead of doing a permanent screw in your door with a paper towel holder. And the next one is a basket that adheres to the inside of the other door with those command strips. They have so many products and I was really excited to find this because I knew exactly what I wanted to use it for. So I just have all the products I use on a daily basis in this basket and I don't have to go under the sink in the dark and try and find things. I just swing open the door and it's right there. So I have definitely been enjoying this. And all the products in this basket are from Grove Collaborative. I actually signed up with them because so many of you guys told me that I should or asked me if I was using it. And if you're not using it, you are missing out. They have great products at amazing prices, like way cheaper than the grocery store. And typically when you sign up, they have free offers and you get free stuff. So I will link them down below too. And here are all my favorite products I've been keeping in this basket on the door. They all are by the Mrs. Myers brand. I've just been loving that brand lately, as you guys know if you've seen similar videos to this one. And everything is through Grove Collaborative. I did purchase this at the grocery store, but I'm pretty sure they have it on their website. It's just a surface scrub. And then I love the multi-surface sprays. Those are definitely like a favorite of mine. I can use them on pretty much any hard surface. And the two scents that I love are the lemon verbena as well as the peony. So this is a multi-surface, so is this. And then I have a soap for the dishes I keep in the middle. I love having this in the door because it's one last thing on the counters. And my next tip has to do with changing your sheets. This is something I've been doing for a while now and it is so much better because we have all white bedding as a lot of you guys have seen on my channel before. So a lot of our sheet sets look really similar and sometimes I end up with like a random pillowcase and I don't realize it 
or the top is different than the bottom. So the way I make sure I have all the right pieces is I fold everything as normal and then I put the sheet set in one of the pillowcases and I store it that way in the linen closet. So whenever I need to change the sheets, I just pull out that pillowcase and I'm good to go. I have all the right pieces. It's such a little tip, but if you have changed your sheets really late at night and you're tired and you just want to go to bed, not having to look through all of like the stacks of different things is so much easier. So I definitely recommend it. So the last thing I'm focusing on is the junk drawer. I don't know if that's what it's called everywhere, but I'm sure you guys have a drawer in your house that just turns into a keep all and there's a bunch of random stuff in there and this drawer really needed some attention. I feel like it has not been difficult to keep the rest of them really neat and organized, but this one just it's turned into a pretty crazy mess, so I found an organizer from Home Goods, and I'm going to pull everything out and just see what I have, what I need, what can be thrown away. I always like to focus on function, as you guys know, so anything we need on a daily basis I put in front, and then things that I just want to have on hand, but it's not something I necessarily would need all the time, I stack underneath or put in the back. That typically is like a manual for appliances, a recycling schedule, anything random like that, and then things we use all the time, like a lint roller, we're always using that or pens, pencils, paper, scrap paper, things like that I put in front. I also like to stack bills on top that need to be paid right away because I have to move it aside in order to get to what I went to that drawer for, if that makes sense. It's just a little tip that has worked for us because I have to touch it. I know I have to do that and I will take care of it and get it out of the way so that everything still looks how I want it to look. So that has helped us. Hopefully it helps you too. Okay guys, so here's what it's looking like and I feel like it's not as aesthetically pleasing as I would like it to be, but obviously it is so much better than it was. So we have all of our pens right here, scissors, some batteries and essential oils. I don't know why we have so many batteries, but at least I found them. And then we have like scissors here and a stain pen, flashlight, sunscreen, um, some tape, and then just like screws and bolts and random things. We have like an extra knob and just random things right there that are always really nice to have on hand. And then I put the mail right here and in the back is just random things that I know we'd like to have on hand, but it's not something that we would need on an everyday basis. So that is where that's at. And it feels so much better having this done. We used to have a lot of things in this corner and it just looked so bad. So I'm so happy to have this emptied out and all of those papers are in the drawer so I can get rid of that guy. And then I think we're just going to stick with this in the corner for now for just like important papers we need to take care of right away. Sunglasses, and these are my niece's sunglasses. She left them here, aren't those so cute? We need to give those back to her. So the sunglasses are there and like stamps and things like that. And those are all the tips and hacks I'm going to share in today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this and found it helpful. Write a comment down below. I love hearing from you guys. I respond to every single one of you. And please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Make sure to check out all the links down below and I'll be back in a few days with a brand new video. Bye!